Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through how to dockerize your fast API or any Flask or Django API, and how to create an image, and how to create container, and how to create a Docker Compose file. Everything that you needs to know about uh, dockerize your fast API, MongoDB, PostgreSQL that you're going to learn in this session. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So you have to have one editor available before proceeding. So we can quickly create a new folder over here. We can name it whatever it may be as usual i'm gonna name it app this time just go dra drag your folder on the top of your vs code open your terminal from here or you can use command j okay if you're on mac or control plus back take if you're on windows okay and quickly uh do one thing uh, like uh, create a docker file first so uh, after that uh, quickly if you have a python 3 check i uh, have python 3 so what i'll do is i'll use python 3 okay have an am virtual env uh of env so it's going to create vnv over here and this is it after that i'm gonna create an app folder over here where inside that i'm gonna create main.py quickly where i'm gonna implement my first api so for that i need dependencies so i'm gonna do one thing python 3 or we can uh, first i need to enable my virtual environment so for that i'm gonna use slash vnv okay tab okay slash i'm gonna use uh, slash bin slash activate okay hit enter no such file or directory it's because we are using slash over here remove it this is done okay cool so now what we are gonna do is we are gonna install the dependencies so pip install i just need a fast api for now and uv con uv con this is it i guess hit enter and now before proceeding you have to have docker available okay so here i'm gonna write the program from fast api import fast api and app is equal to fast api uh after that we are gonna do add the rate okay get and create your uh return something hello world this is finished this is the simplest uh possible hello world program that we have made in fast api after that do one thing create a init file empty init file okay so yeah this is it and after that we need to uh create please oh uh, what we can say requirements.txt i hope i have made spelling mistake no this will go with the same it will generate the requirement.txt where uh, whatever the dependencies we have installed you can see over here and in our dependencies so yeah this is it now inside docker file we can uh, simply write from uh, what we can say on python 3 okay so you can define python and version 3.9 let's say okay and after that uh, point 0 let's say and hyphen you can use alpine build uh, to save the time okay uh, hit enter and after that you can uh, specify your work directory so let's use a code let's say and after that you can uh, grab all the things or you can do one thing like slash you can say uh, requirements.txt let me quickly uh, rename it okay uh, slash so where i'm gonna grab this thing so uh, slash code slash uh, we can say here okay so after that we are gonna run this thing we need to uh, hit run command to install the dependencies or you can do uh, one thing to define no cache dir or upgrade as well if you want like that it's all up to you Control b to close this thing after that you can grab rest of the things uh, like dot slash app folder i have that i'm gonna get in app okay so i'm gonna copy this app folder over there okay 
and this is it after that we can run this thing uh in run we need to define uvcon okay now after that we can say app dot main okay colon app of course have and have and reload you can use it's all up to you if you want you can use reload as well but before that we need to define host first okay so host is something uh of uh, you can define 0 0.0.0.0, .0 for local host okay and here i think uh, we can define port as well so default port we, we are assuming that uh, we'll use port 80 over here so um, this is it uh, now what you can do is you can uh, quickly install this uh, plugin over here you can see so i don't have any containers for now so uh, i'm not able to see anything over here so you can grab this uh, from here which is very helpful just search for docker and uh, you can get it from here so you can push your docker images uh, to docker hub so it's very useful uh, this is it i guess so what we can do is we, we're gonna create a docker image first so so for that we use command docker build space dot okay it's gonna create a new image but before that we need to define a tag okay so tag is something that is gonna we are gonna name it the name of image uh, whatever it may be let's say name image name or let's say app or whatever it may be that you can choose so what it will do it will find a docker file over here so once uh, it gets the docker file it will create the image okay okay uh, one more thing that we have missed uh, this is something uh, inside this code okay so you need to do one thing like it should be like this so this is it after that uh, we'll quickly rerun the command and uh, here we go it will take some time till then uh, what we can do is we can now uh, go here quickly let me resize this okay uh, so till then we'll create a docker compose okay so we can okay so docker compose is something that we use when you have more than one containers let's say if you have a react app angular view app okay and you wanna uh, compose all the images together okay let's say if you're working on mongodb postgres okay so there there might be a chance that uh, you're working on let's say mongodb so uh, you need to define a version first of course so uh, currently we are using let's say 3.8 then you can define your services over here inside services you can define your app let's say okay so app uh, is uh, my current app that is i'm um, working on okay so inside that uh, we need to define a build okay so build where you need to define a path of docker file so i have docker file here okay so i'll say dot dot slash or something like that after that you can define the ports ports something uh, that we have defined over there which was 80 okay yes okay after that uh, let me quickly change this thing uh, okay so after that uh, it is depends on okay uh, some other container let's say let's say uh, there is mongo or postgres if you are working on so you can write uh, here let's say uh, let me create a db first or we can write uh, depends on directly over here as well okay and service name service name is something you can write db that it depends on db and db after that you can create like i need a db uh, where uh, you can define uh, let's say image okay uh, image post list let's say okay so this i don't need this much of things just remote okay just we'll go with the mongo first so mongo okay and after that you need to define ports which is uh, 27017 you can define environment variables as well uh, which is uh, for uh, username id password if you want to set okay like it depends but for now this is very minimal approach uh, that we will follow okay where i just need these two things now um, whenever you are working on any uh, in the database so you need to persist the data because every time when we restart the container it will automatically uh, flush the data so if you want to persist the data you can define volumes volumes is something like you can create a local repository okay uh, it will create a repository over here okay if i write something like that so it will create a data repository over here and all the data which will create inside that container okay is going to preserve 
here so next time it will automatically get volume from here so this is how uh, we have connected the mongodb so now you can access the 2707 27017 port inside here inside app as well okay uh, one more thing okay uh, this is done okay i have made one change okay instead of alpine version i'm using this one only so uh, you can check there on official uh, uh, doc uh, there are few versions for that alpine version is available okay so this is it i guess uh, so if i go here and if i click here on docker if i try to refresh this thing i don't have any containers now oh, we have just created one image so what you can do you can go here in images and inside that uh, you will get this app over here okay the latest build one minute ago uh, what we will do if you want to create a container you can quickly hit this command uh, docker run okay to run the container hyphen have a name to provide the name of container so we'll say app app container or whatever it may be after that you can provide that mode like in detach mode or in interactive mode okay interactive it means you can you you can see the logs over here okay in detach mode it will run in a background after that you can provide the port okay same that we have defined over here okay like this all the things we are doing from command line so two seven uh, 017 colon 27017 okay and the name of image that we have made app okay so app this is it enter it will create a container you can see here container is running if i uh, go here okay um, so here what we can do is we can quickly search for localhost okay so there is nothing is running over here okay cool i hope i'm missing something okay it was it was uh, 270 let me delete this thing first okay so how uh, the port was wrong it is port of mongodb so docker uh, ps you can write to see the running images okay uh, running containers and if you want to delete this thing you can write docker rm and paste this id or any three letters like uh, first three uh, letters hit enter Okay, okay. Uh, you cannot remove because this is running so you can write force here forcefully turn this off okay so now if i do docker ps you can see there is nothing now again i'll try to rebuild this thing okay uh, sorry uh, to run this thing again but this time i'll choose port 80 okay so uh, 8080 again hit enter this is done this is running over here okay if you right click you can see you can see log some here as well or uh, open in browser as well uh, if i click here it will automatically open in browser and you can see hello world over here okay now it's time to use the docker compose instead of uh, this thing okay you can remove this from here as well so you can first you need to stop this thing otherwise uh, it won't like uh, or you can remove this thing so you need to define individual antennas this one and okay so this is the power of using uh, gui okay it's all up to you what you use after that you can search for docker compose okay so after that you will get this very uh, you can click here on get started okay so uh, from here you can uh, let me search docker compose install docker compose okay this is available for all the systems so you can grab uh, your package from here okay after that once you have it you can search for docker compose hyphen hyphen version okay so same thing that we are gonna do with docker compose now now i'm gonna uh, comment this out to run this thing only okay now you can provide the container name as well here if you want okay container name like app again okay so this is my container name so i'm gonna run this thing docker compose up so it's going to uh creator it will uh, run all the things again okay this is done uh you can see the image is also created over here and new app is running over here if i go again i hopefully this will work again okay this is running perfectly fine if i need mongodb you can write db okay here otherwise uh, you can write other things as well so now what I, you you can do is you can go to the docker hub quickly okay to publish this uh image that you have just made okay like you can click here you can uh, sign in okay so uh, you need to create one let me close this things which is not needed 
okay so you can create a new repository over here okay just name it okay pytest or fast api let's say quickly okay here you can see you just need to define this thing uh you need to tag that particular thing okay so after that let's create quickly okay and uh this is it i guess and if i go here yeah let me stop this thing quickly so i have image already with the name of app so what I, i'll do is i'll try to uh, push this thing over here on docker hub so let's see how we can do so we have a command okay this one so docker tag this is your local image so we'll see docker tag your local image name is app and your uh, docker hub image name is it's mahesh karya okay slash fast api like this and this is my username but it won't work if you are um, you are not logged in already so what you have to do is let me copy here okay so we can use it later okay cool so what you have to do is you need just need to first log in over here so what i'll do i'll log in here quickly okay with username my username is it's mahesh karia okay and password of course so password you need to create a you need to go here inside settings account settings where you will get a security over here okay uh, default security uh, sorry security okay here you need to create a access token and name it like for fast api i am creating token let's say so just you will get this token this is one time token so you just need to grab this thing and save it somewhere else otherwise it won't work okay and once you hit enter after that this is this is the password that you are using now uh, you need to hit with uh, this password stdin okay this is also right because it's going to save somewhere so this is vulnerable okay but it's okay for now for demo we are using something like that i'll also tell you the solution i have already uh, told you guys in last video okay you just what you have to do is here you just need to use hyphen hyphen password okay hyphen s t d i n okay and here you can do is echo with the echo or you can save inside some file and now you can read file here let's say this is my password okay sorry it was the password here password here and pipe operator hit enter something like that so okay this is it uh, so now we need to run this command uh, docker tag okay so now i'll hit enter so this is done now i just need to push this thing okay so what i'll do is i'll quickly copy and close okay now if you guys remember in here uh we got the command okay docker push and tag name so make sure to use uh the tag name okay v1 you can use otherwise it will by default it will update in latest one okay so this is uh it's uh updating okay you can see so in a while once this is done it will automatically push your image over there okay it will take some time i guess till then so uh, uh no worries uh, so yeah this is uh done okay now you can see here as well in registries okay if you just you just need to click here on connect so it will ask for uh, where you want to connect okay you can publish anywhere like uh, in aws okay gitlab there are lots of uh, other options i sure okay so uh, okay cool so now what we'll do is we'll quickly go here and refresh the page so now you can see the latest uh, one we'll get over here quickly okay so uh, last minute ago we got our first latest so uh, now you can take a pull from here if you want okay instead of push you can pull here and you can uh, share with your friends and something like that so yeah thank you so much uh, this is all we have to do guys like this uh it i guess okay uh, if you want to use postgres this is also easy instead of that we'll write postgres uh, uh the port 54321 i guess something like that and uh, yeah this is it so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here and please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side uh 
thank you so much for your time and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already uh good day bye bye thank you